Hey and welcome back to The Revolution and even more WWE 2K20 news is following the wings of today's trailer, 2K released a whole load of information regarding this year's game including some huge women's wrestling news that the fans have been crying out for years. To be sure you don't miss out on any of our upcoming WWE 2K20 women's content, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single beat. Also, don't forget to check out our official website, revolution.com, where we'll be posting all of today's news and more. If you thought the announcement of the first ever female cover star was groundbreaking, then boy are you in for a surprise, because 2K also announced the return of mixed tag team matches, a women's evolution showcase, and finally, after so many years, a women's my career mode. Yes! So before we get into all the awesome news, let's take a quick rundown of the official TK press release which highlights just a slither of this year's improvements and additions. WWE 2K20, in direct response to fan feedback, will include several franchise firsts along with streamlined gameplay and a variety of popular modes. The story-driven, objective-based 2K showcase, The Women's Evolution, will follow the careers of the four horsewomen, Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch, SmackDown Women's Champion Bailey, Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks. Controls will be streamlined to allow new players to jump into the game more easily while experienced players will still enjoy a challenge. In addition, WWE 2K20 players will be able to compete as both male and female superstars in my career and mixed tag team matches while last year's probably the WWE 2K Towers returns with exciting new challenges including a story driven tower centred around the career of Roman Reigns. I don't know about any of you but I swear to god this has me so hyped beyond belief and I really don't know how to process the news. Since my career's inception so many of us have pleaded for women's my career mode so to see those requests finally answered it's the ultimate fan service and I only have one thing to say. Thank you 2K, honestly thank you. For someone like me who enjoys the 2K series by purely playing as the women, something has always felt a little off for me when it comes to my career. That's not to say that the additions haven't been good because they really have, but for me, I've always felt like I couldn't connect to the character because of the play style and the choices. So to finally have that female representation to work with is just, I honestly can't put it into words. I'm honestly so thankful that 2K finally decided to make the jump and I can't wait to start a whole bunch of different women's my career modes just to experience every little thing that I can. Not only that but we also have the return of mixed tag team matches and a brand new female centric showcase featuring the four horsewomen of WWE and the women's evolution movement. I won't go into too much detail about these at this time as I have future videos planned for both the mixed tag team match and the showcase elements, but damn am I really excited about them. While it may have been buggy in the previous incarnation, I can't wait to see what a tailored version of the mixed tag team match looks like, as that has been another of my highly requested features for 2K over the last few years. Speaking of showcases, 2K also unveiled a brand new component to this year's game entitled WWE 2K20 Originals, in which they had the following to say. WWE 2K20 Originals is set to deliver a wealth of 2K showcase add-on content for players exploration beyond the game's initial launch. Each of the WWE 2K20 Originals will present a new playable world in its own unique theme, with more details to be announced in the coming months. WWE 2K20 Originals is download content that may require additional purchase. From what I can gather, Originals will be a brand new system for WWE 2K20 DLC moving forward, with DLC now accompanied by mini showcases to support the new superstars and to pick crucial stories surrounding their WWE career so far. If that is indeed the case, I for one wholeheartedly support it, as it gives fans a reason to play as DLC characters who may have been overlooked in the past or never even used. I for one have certainly overlooked playing as certain superstars over the years purely because I've never really had a reason to play as them. Obviously I could be totally wrong on this one and originals may be something totally different to what I'm theorising but 2K assure fans that more details are coming sooner rather than later. As part of the press release, 2K also revealed three different versions of this year's game, with the Digital Deluxe and Collector's Edition once again returning alongside the Standard Base Edition. 
with so much on offer for fans and one important decision to make when it comes to purchasing, let's break down each edition and what's included. For fans looking for a cheaper alternative to this year's game, they can select the standard edition of WWE 2K20 with both the physical and digital editions of the game on sale right now. Fans who pre-order 2K20 will receive this year's pre-order bonuses which have yet to be announced. Moving on from the standard edition, we have this year's deluxe edition which features the following. The WWE 2K20 pre-order bonuses, the WWE 2K20 Accelerator, the WWE 2K20 MyPlay Kickstart, the WWE 2K20 Backstage Pass and the Smackdown 20th Anniversary DLC Pass. Before we move on to this year's Collector's Edition, let's break down the exclusive in the Deluxe Edition as I'm sure there's a little nugget in there that so many of you will love. As always, the Accelerator will give players full access to unlock all locked content in WWE 2K20 from the get-go and allow fans to tamper with both Superstar ranks and attribute levels. This year's My Player Kickstart will give players a leg up in my career by unlocking and boosting player ratings and tributes with an offering of 25 additional attribute points from the get-go. The Kickstart pack will also come with a bonus 25,000 VC to spend on superstar parts, moves, taunts and more. In addition, the pack will also come with all boost slots unlocked, plus 15 free boosts, 2,000 free tokens and 400 free deluxe tokens. Unfortunately, we can't go into this year's Backstage Pack just yet, but for those curious as to what the Backstage Pass is, it's just another name for the previously titled Season Pass. Last, and certainly by no means least, is the Smackdown 20th Anniversary Pack, which includes Hulk Hogan, a $500 shirt edition of The Rock, a Rock and Sock Connection edition of Mankind, and wait for it, making her WWE 2K Series debut, China. For years now, fans have begging for WWE to not only induct China into the Hall of Fame, but to also allow 2K to use China in the 2K series. Not only did China receive her induction into the Hall of Fame earlier this year, but she now has her legacy cemented with this induction into the 2K series. I for one will enjoy each and every moment using China in 2K20, and I can't wait to see some dream matches recreated with China in this year's game. For those wanting to experience the ultimate WWE 2K20 package, fans can also purchase a physical WWE 2K20 Collector's Edition, which this year celebrates the 20th anniversary of SmackDown. The Collector's Edition this year comes with all previously named bonuses alongside limited edition WWE Supercard cards, an exclusive WWE SmackDown ring skirt relic piece, and a limited edition WWE SmackDown Legend autograph plaque with a chance of fans receiving a signed piece by either Kurt Angle, Rey Mysterio or Edge. I will say that for all I appreciate the design of the Smackdown edition, I can't help but feel a little underwhelmed, especially after last year's epically themed Flair edition. Now there is a huge portion of people who will disagree and that's fine by me, but given the fact that this year's game features a female on the cover, why not bring everything together and make it a female centric edition? While I understand that the decision would likely oust out a huge portion of male wrestling fans, the theming of the edition would have seemed far more cohesive and there are so many obvious bonus pieces you could throw in such as exclusive Funko Pops, May Young Classic Ring Skirts, Evolution signed autographs and so much more. Regardless, we do have so much to play with this year as women's wrestling fans and the fact that we get to play as China as part of that is something worth smiling about. WWE 2K20 will truly be the year of the woman and I can't wait to see everyone's my career female superstars as well as the Evolution Showcase playthroughs. I honestly don't know if there's anything 2K can do to top all of today's news but given this is day one on the road to October, anything is possible and I hope you stay tuned to the channel to experience that all alongside me. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like or comment below and let us know which edition of the game you plan to purchase. Also, don't forget you can catch a breakdown of today's news over on our official website, revolution.com. Until next time, I've been the revolution.